Hey, welcome back once again, CISSP wannabes. I'm Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day. Where every single day, almost, I'm going to come at you with two new questions to help you as you continue to prep for your exam. So let's do it. Here comes two. Question number one today, identifying covert storage channels is an important aspect of securing a multi-layer or multi-level uh, system, system where multiple levels of access are going to be had uh, potentially simultaneously by different users. Which of the following techniques can help you go in and identify opportunities for covert storage channels? Uh, there's your answer choices. Go ahead and look them over. Click on pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play and we can look at it. All right, the answer choice that we are looking for here in terms of how you identify the opportunity or the potential for a covert storage channel is by using something called a shared resource matrix. Um, a shared resource matrix is a way of looking at the attributes of particular objects and then defining whether or not uh, that attribute requires the capability for somebody or has the capability for somebody to be able to to read it or to modify it and then correlating that with the different levels of users on the systems. Basically it works out that if somebody has the ability to modify it and somebody of a lesser security has the ability to read it, the opportunity is there for a covert storage channel to exist. It does not mean that one exists. Okay, uh, A shared resource matrix does not tell you that there is a covert storage channel it tells you that there's an opportunity for a covert storage channel. So it kind of gives you insight and, and guidance on where you should be looking. So, so that's really the whole essence of what a shared resource matrix is all about. All right, let's do question number two. Question number two is, you have a known good application which you have just updated and you want to make sure that the updates that you've made to the application don't actually bring old bugs back to life. My question to you is, is what kind of testing would you do in order to go in and look for such a thing? There's your answer choices. Go ahead and check them out. Click on pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play and we'll talk about the right answer. All right, the correct answer here is called regression testing. Regression testing is when you go in and test um, a piece of code or a piece of software after changes have been made to it, whether it's been updated or patched or upgraded, to go in and make sure that it continues to function in a way that is going to be uh, useful and secure uh, for the users of the system. So that's the whole idea of what regression testing is all about. Bam, so simple, done. Two more questions down. Hope they're helping you. Hope you're getting ready to take that exam. Hopefully you'll take that exam and then won't ever need to see my mug again, at least not for CISSP questions because uh, you'll have that knocked out and never want to take that test ever, ever again. So, that being said, I'll be back tomorrow with two more questions. See you later.